Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So this is upscale, sort of. I think that's how you say it. We're going to just call it upscale. And it's an AI image upscaler. It's free, okay? So you don't need to pay for it. I'll leave a link for the application in the description below. Um, if you want my wallpaper, guess what? It's in my Discord. I have a wallpaper channel. It's massive. I want to show it to you real quick because people are constantly asking. So you may as well know that this is where I get all my wallpapers from. Look at this one. This one's pretty. And basically Slayer posts them. I end up repairing them with the application that I'm showing you now, and they end up looking really, really good in the end. So I didn't really need to touch up this one. There are a couple of issues in the sky and stuff like that and on the cliffs. Same with this one. There's a bit of pixelation throughout uh, serious ones though, like this one, God darn it, some of them can't be saved. Like if you look up here, it's all pixelated. I'm hoping AI will find a way to be able to just replace those pixels entirely and just blend it in with what's currently going on. But as I said, not everything can be fixed. So we're going to use these three as an example. Okay. And I'll make sure to do that. So if we go into my video thingy here. Um, and we look at one of the pictures. Let's go with the obvious one, which is the girl in the water. It is a 79.9 kilobyte image. And this means we zoom in, you can see the problem. Okay. Usually back in the day, images like this were fine because you had CRTs and they would blend in the pixels and you wouldn't really notice but these days. It's kind of unacceptable. What the application does is this. It now cleared it up. As you can see, it looks a lot better. Uh, everything looks cleaner when it zoomed out. And then again, we have Ultra Mix. So Ultra Mix did not do a very good job, but uh, digital, as I like to call it, or they like to call it anime, did a really good job on cleaning it up. Let's take a look at the next one. So. Once again, this is 93 kilobytes and from a distance in a thumbnail, it would look great up close. We've got pixelation issues. Look at this over here, right? Everywhere is a complete and utter disaster. I don't like thumbnails. I don't like like, look at this. Yes. Some detail was lost, but it ended up making it look like it's more stylized. And there's a problem because you don't have a choice when it comes to these. Usually when there's enough detail, say it's a uh, 500 kilobytes, I could use the other one. Let's say uh, this one right here or this one. This one I haven't used at all, but I kind of want to try it. So to do this, we're going to select the original image which is this one, and I'm going to hit upscale. There's no setup with this. You don't need to set up anything. There are settings. I'll show them in a second, but I want to go over this the best I can before I get to that. Now it's going to do this with your CPU. And as you can see, it did not do a good job. So let's try ultra sharp. Okay. So it's upscaling from 1080p to 4k. It's only a two times scaler. And it does take a quite a bit of GPU to pull this off. And if we look again, the clouds are still all grainy and it doesn't look very good. So no matter what we really do, the only way forward is with the digital photo or the digital art one. And uh, this program could use a lot more work, but it does end up solving the problem Now this one. This one fixed it. Did you see that? Take a look. Yeah, it solved those clouds right away. And the best part is it looked like it kept most of the detail. So the only two useful ones are real S grain and digital art. Now I have a lot of photos that I just generated. As you can see, there's a ton of them. And next we're going to be doing this one, by the way, 
right here because this one matters a little bit to me because I want to see which one does best for the cliffs because cliffs uh, usually need to keep its detail. You can see there's detail up here and we don't want to lose that. So this is the one we're going to try first and it's going to go through it pretty quick. Oh man, come on, you can dot this, you got this, show me what you got. Now look at that. It did keep some of the detail, which is really nice. And the detail on the water is a little sharper, the reflections look good. And the rocks look great. They did lose a little bit of detail, but not, a, not as much that it completely ruins the image. And you could tell that it is AI upscaled, unfortunately, which is a problem, but it's a lot better than what it was before. I mean, that hurts the fact that it got rid of all that detail. Look at that. So once again, we're going to try this and see what it does. This is the fast version of that, and it's just as bad. We're going to try this one. AI is no joke when it comes to photo enhancement. I don't like how it loses most of the detail on certain things. Like this one didn't even do anything. Okay, the shadows and everything, the water looks a little crisper. Uh, the rocks look a little bit crisper. There's a lot more detail on the rocks, but honestly, yeah, this is, it doesn't look really that good. And then you got Ultra Mixed Balanced. So this one, again, I believe it goes between all of them. It comes out, hopefully, with something that looks good. I mean, there's still detail up there. The cliffs look okay. I mean, the rocks didn't really lose much detail. You see, it depends on the image. So now... The only thing that lost detail is this, this rock right here. It's all smeared. But it's an artsy-fartsy image, so... Uh, that really doesn't really matter that much. But it did a much better job on this image than it did the other one. See? Let's take a look at settings real quick. As you can see, it shows your logs. And it allows you to select your theme. Pretty cool. Save image as, so JPEG you know, web, uh, P, custom output, image compression, output folder, overwrite previous upscale, which honestly I'm going to turn on. And then there's documentation for your GPU ID. Now, I don't even bother to look at that, but it does take custom models. So I'm wondering if I can grab everything from Topaz and throw this in. That would be cool. I'm not testing that today. But this application has helped with correcting a lot of thumbnails and honestly uh this so far is the best result i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you find this application useful let me know in the comments below if you did check the description to download the application and i will see you guys in the next video do not forget to subscribe i cover linux applications linux guides linux in general and sometimes emulation and there's like really cool mods to cover bye bye everybody